So I would say, first of all, you have to separate the fabric softener from the sexual side of your relationship. So sometimes couples will have their own separate email chain or their own number or something they use that's only about creating this erotic intimacy where it's not like the same text where they're like about, yo, did you do the laundry? I'm going to suck your cock so good later. It's like you want those to be <laughs> separate. So I think that's really, really important. And I would recommend doing a sexual challenge. Each day they try something new. So either it's a new position Position. They try saying different words to each other. They talk about fantasies. Maybe they Wait, talk. Let's about... role play this out. Me and Josh are the couple. All right. You're All gonna right. stop it. You're gonna go with. This. I'm the top. You're gonna fine. I'm the woman. Me and Josh have not been having having sex lately. What are some things that we can try? Give us some. I got you. Great. I got you. I'm the woman. Go. All right. So I would say, I would start by filling out something called. Ooh, look at you. Look so sexy. I'm pretty. Right. Look at me. Um, he doesn't look at me. So there's something called a yes, no, maybe list. Well, you fucked up with the fabric softener again. No, God sorry. damn it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't hit me again. Go. So you can go through the whole list and see if there's anything that excites you that maybe you haven't explored yet. Anal sex. Have you used these different types of toys? Are there names that you're interested in exploring? Are there dynamics in terms of having sex in public? Are I never you open to threesome? I know, but you never call me Morpheus, and that's the name <laughs> I want to explore. I want to be Morpheus in bed. Okay, baby. Go ahead.